Hello everyone, Big Man here. So, you might be wondering why are we at, at this island? Because this is not an island that's familiar to many people. This it, it doesn't even have an official name. It's just called Custom Build Island Small Boat. Something like that. And the reason I'm here is because, not because we've got a build zone for a base, um, but because we have this zone and this zone, which are both small build areas. And I'm interested in this one in particular, because this, if you're familiar with the submarine base, this is basically its smaller, lesser known cousin. You know, you spawn in a cave and you've got a small build area. So what I thought we would do today is start making a submarine. And so I'm going to teach you guys how to make submarines. You know, I can teach you guys tips and tricks about how to make stuff. And hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. So let's, yeah, let's build a submarine. Now, as you can see, the small build area is not that big, um, but I'm doing it in the small build area just to show you guys that you can actually make stuff in a small build area, like submarines. A lot of people feel that the only reason that the small kind of area exists is for small starter rescue boats in career mode. That's not true. You can make anything in here. It's just about size um, and also capability as well, because you do have to keep that in mind that when you have a smaller build area, sometimes your capability is reduced. There are some things that you need to consider before you make your submarine. So you need to plan it out. So the first thing is going to be where are you going to sit? You know, where are you going to have yourself? Where are you going to have, if there's crew, where are you going to have the crew? Where are you going to have living quarters, controls, all that sort of stuff? Is it going to be a single person? Is it going to be a large? Are you going to have windows? That sort of thing. That will determine where you want to put the actual cabin, hull, whatever you want to call it. I, I call it, I guess, the cabin. Wherever you want to put the cabin of the submarine, that will depend on the use and the shape and where you want everything to go. Next, you're going to need to look at where your ballasts are going to go. So your ballasts are things that will pull in water to help you sink um, and float when you blow them out. Look, typically on a submarine, you'll want the ballasts on the sides or underneath or at the front and back. Never put them on the top and the reason for that is that let's say that this obviously this is not a submarine let's just say this is our submarine and we've got an imaginary ballast here i had a whole lot of weight look at where the center of mass is now because water is very heavy you know in game water is almost as heavy as a weight block if you think about it now we've got our submarine but if we have a ballast on top all of the weight from the water is going to mean that our center of our center of mass is above the center of buoyancy which will roll us over if we have it underneath look at that we've got our center of mass low and our center of buoyancy high and therefore the forces mean that we are automatically stabilized so ideally you want your ballasts in the front and the back sides and below but not on the top the next thing you have to think about is your propulsion system because the propulsion system is you know the core part of the submarine you know what are you using your submarine for if you are going to be using the submarine for just exploration and you're not you're not worried about you know stealth and efficiency and stuff like that well obviously efficiency yes but you know you've got to decide what you want to use and what type of power plant so on a small submarine You'll probably end up using electric motors, maybe a, a engine to recharge the batteries when you are above the surface. Otherwise, of course, you could use jet engines because they can work underwater if the intake is surrounded by air. Or you could use, hey, if you want to use coal, go use coal. Or you could use a nuclear reactor. At the end of the day, it is up to you. So for the submarine, I'm probably just going to use electric motors. All right, now that you've got that, you've got your cabin sorted where you want it to go you've got your ballast where you want it to go like well you know where you want it to go you know what you want to use for propulsion now we can start building a submarine so the first things first is to make a cabin so i would enable my explain that's what i'm going to do and i'm just going to build a semi small submarine i think that's that's plenty big and then i'm going to do I think I'm going to do some other wedges here, if I can place them right. So yeah, look, because this is still mixed, you don't have to be completely circular. Um, obviously, real submarines don't have to, but 
to keep equalized pressure on the hole in real life they typically are circular especially on the inner inner um, pressure hull but still works look make it any shape you want it doesn't matter it still works i will get back to you guys once i've made the the cabin now a tip with making windows um i i like to just use whatever color for windows and what i'll do is i'll drag this out and i'm just going to delete blocks in the shape that i think the windows will be good so i kind of want it to extend out to here um i want a bit of a flat surface there i think maybe a angle there kind of a bit of a roof yes yeah, something like that would work um, and then just gradually fill that kind of space in with windows right now we've got two little issues here so the first one being that this obviously doesn't light up um so what we're going to do is i'm going to prioritize windows here and then i'm just going to adjust the actual shape of the hull accordingly and look there we go we've got some extra I guess we got a little bit of extra um, places we can play stuff and the other issue is the seat we can't get out like this what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a seat just a padded seat I'm gonna disable my x-plane and for now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the seat there and this this is a little trick that I used on my Lancaster bomber several months ago I've used it on my Piaggio P108A I've used it on a lot of stuff um, and the reason being is that these seats unless you make them physically rotate you can't get out of them you know you can't climb over them but when you hit F or whatever you've keyboarded it to to go onto a seat you I guess you get you get teleported to that seat so if we let's just seal this off and I'll show you what I mean by this it's probably gonna roll over yeah it's gonna roll over um, but that's okay it will still showcase what I mean so we're in our sub raid as you can see our visibility is really good but you know we we can't we can't get past but if we hit F onto the padded seat look at that we now have a way to get past it now for some people they won't like the solution because it's not authentic or whatever uh, and to all those people I say shush because it works well and now we can I guess we can start working on a ballast so for my submarines ballast I'm gonna make one that's kind of about here um I don't know how big I'm gonna make it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete that block out and I'm going to extend that out like that or maybe even using a one by two wedge um, and I'm just going to again extend it further there we go it's nice and wide like you can... actually no i'm not going to say that and so just make sure you've got some space inside of them and then i'm going to put some one by two wedges there and then i'm going to make sure that the cabin looks the same as it did delete those because we don't need them so we've got our ballasts there, uh, obviously we need to finish those up, so I will extend them out. Okay, I've got my ballast sealed up. Now, ballast, you want to have as much room as possible inside the ballast for water. Locks are great, obviously, but we don't like them right now because we could use wedges. And the reason for that is that wedges, you can actually fill wedges with water but you see if i i go into the underside here you know and i just fill this all with wedges i can actually fill way way more water uh you might have seen in one of my older videos about i think custom fluid tanks i did something like this and i managed to get about twice as much fuel and so you can apply the same principle with water all right now you're going to want to finish off the actual body of your submarine um i don't know how i'm going to do mine because it's 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 a funny kind of i don't know rears are not something i'm very good at doing don't take that out of context please but 
yeah, um, <laughs> uh, I, I, I guess I'll, I'll smooth it out and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Alrighty, I've got something. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it, it, it looks a bit awkward, but that's okay. The, the submarine obviously is a work in progress and we can always change what we don't like about it in the future. Look, that's the basic construction of your submarine. Thank you for watching everyone. We will work on the propulsion system next episode and filling the ballast tanks next episode. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, you know, let me know what you enjoyed about it and I'll see if I could implore more of that. I can't speak English today. Either way, I, thank you for watching everyone and I will, uh, I'll, I'll see you in the next video where we will do more on the submarine.